The World Games are coming in July of 2022. Sumo, softball, lacrosse, sport climbing, powerlifting, and more. This is the new generation of sports. Tickets are on sale. Buy today at TWG2022.com. Hey, it's Scott Martin with your weather video for August 14th, 2021. No change in our weather for the weekend as it will remain hot and humid with the daily chance of afternoon to early evening storms. Eyes are on the tropics as Fred is emerging into the Gulf of Mexico and newly upgraded Grace is not that far behind. Here's what I have for you in today's video. Radar at 5 a.m. this morning shows that all of central Alabama is dry for now, but don't be surprised to see activity starting to form with the heating of the day today. Temperatures as of the 5 o'clock roundup were in the upper 60s to the mid-70s across the area. Haleyville was the cool spot at 69. Troy and Montgomery were tied as the warm spots at 75. Birmingham was sitting at 73. No watches, warnings, or advisories are currently in effect across central Alabama for now, but we do see that a flash flood watch has been issued for the southern Florida peninsula ahead of the arrival of Tropical Depression Fred. A tropical storm warning is up for parts of the Florida Keys and portions of the Gulf of Mexico just offshore of the Florida Peninsula. Now diving into the 06Z run of the GFS starting with today valid at 4 p.m. Today looks to be your typical late summertime day in central Alabama as we'll have partly sunny skies with scattered showers and storms possible during the afternoon and evening hours. Most of the activity will take place over the northern half of the area. Afternoon highs will be in the upper 80s to the mid-90s. Sunday looks to be much of the same, but rain chances look to be a little higher. Scattered to numerous showers and storms for the area with the higher coverage of storms over the northern half. Highs in the upper 80s to the lower 90s. On Monday, we'll have a cold front moving into the northern half of the area, and Fred will begin to move onshore with tropical moisture moving up into the southern parts of the area. For much of central Alabama, we'll have the potential for scattered to numerous showers and storms with slightly cooler temperatures, highs in the lower to mid-80s for most. Tuesday shows the front move back to the north out of the area as a warm front, and the center of Fred moves into central Alabama. While the GFS is not giving Fred much to look at, the European shows a much better organized Fred bringing gusting winds, heavy rain, and the potential for a brief spin-up tornado or two. For now, wind gusts only look to reach around 35 to 40 miles per hour, mainly for locations close to and just east of the center of Fred. Locations southwest of the center may see rain in quickly for the most part after the center passes. Highs will be in the mid to upper 80s. While Fred will be out of the area on Wednesday, he will leave very moist air in his wake. We'll return to scattered to numerous showers and storms becoming likely by the afternoon hours, with highs in the mid-80s to the lower 90s. Not much change for your Thursday. Scattered to numerous showers and storms become likely by the afternoon, highs in the mid-80s to the lower 90s. And again, the same on Friday, highs in the mid-80s to the lower 90s. Now taking a look at the tropics. Fred remains a tropical depression this morning as he looks very disorganized. The National Hurricane Center has even stated that Fred may have transitioned into an open wave, but we'll wait for the latest information to come in from the Hurricane Hunter aircraft. Maximum sustained winds are at 35 miles per hour, and Fred was moving to the west-northwest at 13 miles per hour. Fred will eventually get his act together, reorganize, and become a tropical storm again by Sunday afternoon. Landfall on the Gulf Coast is now projected to take place close to Orange Beach or Pensacola, with winds around 60 miles per hour. Watches may be issued later today for portions of the northern Gulf Coast, there is a slight risk for flash flooding due to the heavy rains from Fred along the Gulf Coast as totals could reach as high as 3 to 6 inches with heavier localized amounts. The biggest threats to the Alabama and western Florida Panhandle Gulf Coast will be from gusty winds, rough surf, deadly rip currents, and heavy rain. A few brief spin-up tornadoes and water spouts will be possible as well. We also have newly formed Tropical Storm Grace out there around 400 miles to the east of the Leeward Islands, with maximum sustained winds at 40 miles per hour. Grace was moving to the west at 22 miles per hour. The Hurricane Center track is rather similar to what Fred's was a few days ago, but just a few miles to the north. Grace is expected to stay at Tropical Storm Strength through Tuesday, as it will be approaching the Florida Keys. 
We'll get a better focus on Grace after Fred moves out of the area, but guidance does show the potential of Grace moving into the Gulf of Mexico on Wednesday. That will do it for today's video. We'll have notes on the blog throughout the day. Bill Murray will have your next video out on Sunday morning. I'm Scott Martin signing off for today. Have a great day and God bless.